Here's how to do rabbit makeup, and this is beginner-friendly special effects makeup. You're going to need a pair of bunny ears. These are a pair that I ended up making, and there is a tutorial on how to make these as well, and that'll be coming up very soon. So I'm just cutting the edges a bit because I wanted to make them look a little frilly, putting in some contacts. I'm using these red ones. If you don't have contacts, that is more than okay. These just really add to the look. These ones also too are slightly uncomfortable to put in, but hey, you know, you gotta suffer for your art sometimes. So after I was done crying, then I brushed my eyebrows up. For this makeup look, I'm going to be concealing my eyebrows. So brushing them and using a glue stick a couple of times over them, anywhere between three to five after each layer dries is really important. Then I'm going over with a multi-stick, color correcting them, hiding them with some white and taking out the darker color of my hairs there. After this layer is down, then I'm going to be powdering it with some translucent setting powder. This one that I'm using is a slightly flesh-toned color, which is more than fine. It's going to blend absolutely well, take out a bit more of that color there from my eyebrows after I start to put down the water-based cosmetic. I'm getting this cosmetic onto my face along with also my neck area, and this is the first layer. After the first layer has fully dried, which I want to make sure I get some onto my lips, nose, over my eyes, on my forehead, pretty much everywhere with this as a light layer, then I'm going to go over it one more time with a different brush. This brush that I'm using is for putting down foundation, so it's going to be a lot better to get that nice, even layer. At this time, I'm not really worrying about my eyes too much. I'm going to go back over that with a slightly angled brush, and I'm going to put cosmetic over those separately. Then I'm going to blend everything together. The slightly angled brush makes it really easy to cut into different corners of my eye, especially towards that general area right there. Now that the cosmetic on my neck has dried, I'm going to use some more and go over with the second layer. Over my eyes, I'm very lightly powdering some off-red almost pink cosmetic. This is one that I mixed with a very, very vibrant almost fluorescent pink and a slight bit of red. I'm going all the way up to where the bottom of my eyebrow is, along with also to the corner of my eye and to the edge of where my eyebrow stops and into that little divot of where my nose meets my eye. This is going to make my eyes really pop and bring this makeup together. And also this color is so incredibly vibrant. I absolutely love it and love how it makes the eyes look in the final result of this makeup. I found that for this look, rather than packing on a bunch of cosmetic, it was easier to brush things on and kind of just layer from there. Now I'm using a bit of lipstick and I'm blending that in to where the bottom portion of the lid is. The white cosmetic underneath too also took a bit of that tone out. Did that over both of my eyes. And you don't have to do this, but I do find that if you use any sort of lipstick or something that has a sticky base, if you want to put more cosmetic over it, it helps to really layer down and also helps everything grip. Now I'm using a shiny red over this, and you can see that it's adding just that bit of shine to the eye, which also really makes the contacts pop, and it looks lovely after everything was done. On the underside, I'm using a bit more of this shiny red too to make the eyes pop slightly more, coming to a very slight edge at the corner, making sure I come up to where the side of the eye is, and just round everything out a bit more along with give this just a bit of an angle at the edge. Now onto the nose. To make my nose look slightly thinner, I am following it along the top edge of it. Then I am taking some of this cosmetic and I'm pulling it downwards. I'm using a combination of that pink that I used over my eyelid along with just a bit more red, but I tapped the brush out, made sure that there wasn't too much cosmetic on there because I want this nice and light. I don't want it to be too overpowerful. I'm also following to where my mouth is and where the under portion of my nose is to get a bit of color around my lips and also underneath my lips too and onto the middle. Now back up to here, I'm outlining with a bit of red and I'm just creating this nice thin line using my fingers to blend that slightly and I'm following where the edges of both of my eyes are to just create that nice and thin line. At the edge here, I'm using some more of that pink. And I'm going to be outlining where my cheeks are along with creating certain shadowed areas and divots. I also did put a bit of this cosmetic onto my forehead. 
but I want to outline where my temples are, give some shadow with this, and it's just going to bring everything together. I'm also putting this where my chin is, where my cheekbones are, and I'm going to be following along where my chin line is with just a very small amount of this to, again, really make everything pop and just add a bit more to this look. Now to outline the nose, I'm creating a rounded triangle in the center, filling in where the separation between both of my nostrils are, and just putting a bit on the sides of my nose. In the center, I'm going to draw a tiny line that goes down to where my mouth is, after the nose has been filled in. And at the edges of where my mouth is, I'm going to make these little tiny lines that go slightly upwards to make it look like I'm smiling and make it look like I have a rabbit's mouth. I'm also very lightly filling in the top of my lip, adding a very small bit of that to the bottom, and using this brush to blend everything slightly along with make the line slightly darker. I'm adding some little tiny dots for where you would see some of the different whiskers coming out of a rabbit's mouth area. Here's an up close shot of those little tiny dots. Now I'm using some white mascara, putting that onto my eyelashes, and this is again going to just make the eyes really pop. Since I'm going to be using a off gray, almost white wig for this makeup. I did end up testing another wig, which you'll see in a couple of minutes. But continuing the eyelashes, which when you're doing this, if you are wearing contacts, make sure to be careful. Try not to get it into your eye. It's not the most pleasant thing in the world. Now for the finishing touch for the eyes, I'm putting some more red at the upper portion just to round out the eyes. Then for the wig. So I ended up testing out two wigs. I have so much hair, it can be really hard to sometimes get everything up. So I usually do have to use a wig cap, which I put onto one hand, take my fingers, spread them, grab it with the other hand, use the other hand to tuck the hair, and try my best to get everything over in the first shot. Sometimes I do have to tuck some of the ends, but it happens like that. That's kind of what happens when you have like three plus feet of hair. So here is the gray wig. I really did like how the gray wig looked. But I also did want to test another wig as well. So I tested this pink tipped wig and I really didn't fully and totally like it. This is definitely not the type of wig for this look. It's just a bit too light with the color on it, but that's okay. I ended up switching back to the other wig. After putting on the rabbit ears along with the shirt, here is the final makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed that. Now, please enjoy the removal of everything. You can find other makeup tutorials, different DIY videos and art videos over on my profile. I hope you all enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Happy Easter because that is when this video is going up. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, have a good one.